What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be working on my 2006 Trailblazer. All right, so last week we broke an axle in the back. All right, went and picked up a new one, was taking the uh, front passenger side apart, swapped the new axle in. I realized that the actuator on the passenger side is completely destroyed, which probably has something to do with why the axle failed the way it did. But I've already got the bolts out of the actuator but it's stuck on the uh, side of the differential. So I'm gonna try to get it broke loose and uh, see if we can go pull the actuator off my parts blazer. So now there's a plastic splash guard on the bottom down here in this area. I'm gonna unbolt that. It's got two or three 10 millimeter bolts in it. And I should be able to reach that actuator from the bottom side. All right, guys, this actuator is really stuck on here. So I'm gonna have to fight with it for a little while and see if I can get it broke loose. So here you see part of my problem. I got the actuator broke free and it literally broke. The uh, neck of it is stuck in the side of the oil pan. So I'm gonna have to get creative and try to uh, find a way to get this out. So I've got the gear that was on the spline shaft here out, but there's a uh, needle bearings inside of it and there's a bearing brace pressed inside this aluminum. So what I'm doing is using my drill, drilling some kind of shallow holes around here, and then using a punch and knocking those chunks of aluminum out. And I'm gonna try to get this aluminum case here that's pressed inside the oil pan to crack. That way I can pry it out in pieces and take it all out. So I'm gonna get back to it. All right, so I just got the rest of that uh, actuator pulled out and that's what's left. Uh, this is a stupid design for the axle to go through the oil pan. Now it's time to get online and order the new actuator for it so I can get it put back together. All right, guys, you can see it got dark on me. Uh, I've just been cleaning everything up. Uh, it's going to take till roughly Wednesday of this coming week before my actuator gets here. So it'll be a week of not driving the blazer. But I'm gonna come back and do the install of the actuator this next weekend. So I'm gonna break this video up instead of it being a longer one. I'm just gonna make it into two shorter ones and instead of releasing every two weeks, I'll go ahead and release this one this week. And then next week's video, I'll release it the same week instead of waiting until the week after. 